All right, ladies and gentlemen, the weather has been pretty good the past few days and, and has been allowing people to start cleaning up what, what possibly was over several feet of snow that dropped with winter storm Alina. And while some people are starting to clean up, some people might have to start even cleaning up back to the west. We have another system that is coming right off the back of this, a new winter storm, winter storm Peggy. Now, this, now the big thing with this system will not be the rain. It'll be the temperatures that will come with this. Some people are going to be seeing record-breaking temperatures that will come. How cold will they be? I'll tell you all in just a second. And while people are dealing with snow and rain up the north, people will be mostly dealing with rain here in the south. We have an area of low pressure that will just that will pass just to the south of the Carolinas that will bring a very good chance of rain all throughout Friday evening, all throughout Saturday, and then eventually even into Sunday. And once again, a very big cool down coming into this weekend. How cold will it get? I will tell you all right here on Winter Storm Central. Thank you all so much for joining me on this very chilly and raw day of Thursday, February 4th, 2021. I am Idra Otis Lame Candy, and we have a lot to talk about tonight and to try and save as much time as I can. I'm going to be doing three parts of this broadcast. The first part will be I'm um, giving you all, all the information about the about the northern tier, how much snow will we, how much snow uh, will we be getting, um, how much snow, how much rain we'll be getting, and how long it will last. Then the second part, I'll tell you all about our local forecast, how much rain we're going to be getting, how long it will last, and everything about that. And then the third part, I'll talk all about this Arctic cold that is going to be coming off of the polar vortex, and some people are going to be well into the negative digits for several days to come. So let's talk all about our brand new winter storm, winter storm Peggy. This storm came just right after a major winter storm. You all know winter storm Arlena came just last weekend and dropped over uh, and possibly dropped over five feet of snow. Some, pe some places got over 30 inches of snow within 24 hours. So a major system that is going to be coming. So this is the remnants of winter storm Arlena well off the coast. Now here is our basically our two, our two systems. Um, this area of high pressure will bring a lot of cold air down from Canada. Here's the cold front that will bring all the precipitation. So you all know when we get a very cold temperatures coming down, mix with the cold front. Well, you've got another major winter storm. So this is the radar. As of 4.15 Eastern Time, you all can see just to the south of Indianapolis is where all the rain is. Just to the north of that is where all the snow is. So Chicago Airport, now getting into some of that snow. Also for you in Green Bay, Wisconsin, Detroit, Michigan, also getting into that snow. And this will last for several days to come. Thankfully, this system will be a much uh, much faster mover than Winter Storm Marlena did. You all know that, that that system was basically stationary, but thankfully that will not be the case with this system. So here are the current alerts. We do have blizzard warnings out. I know that this blizzard Blizzard actually shut down a road today. Um, I saw it on the news, but just to the uh, just to the north of a place like Des Moines, Iowa, is in that blizzard warning. All across the board, we've got plenty of winter weather alerts. So if you do have to go out tonight, please be safe. So here's the forecast for the rest of our afternoon tonight. Plenty of uh, snow showers right across the Ohio River Valley, back down towards the south, places like St. Louis, Missouri, and Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, plenty of uh, mixing out there. So definitely not a great night to be out and about. And then as you go into Friday, the system gradually works its way into the northeast. A lot of places. Along the coast, like places like Rhode Island and eastern Massachusetts, that did get into some of that snow during the lineup, this will this will be a complete rainmaker for you. So um, anywhere, especially right along the coast, right along right along that I-95 corridor, will be where the rain is, and then back out towards the west, that will be where the snow happens. So how much snow are we talking throughout Friday around the Ohio River Valley, possibly up to an, possibly up to maybe a foot of snow, and then as you get back out towards the east, possibly up to three to five inches. So that is all I have you all today for this part. In the next part, I'll be bringing you all up to date on our latest forecast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of my broadcast. In the last part, I showed you all all about our brand new system, Winter Storm Peggy, and how that will eventually track all the way to the eastern coast and bring more snow to what is, into what some people already have over 30 inches of snow on the ground. So definitely not what you want to see. Um, but in this part, I'll be bringing you all up today on our latest forecast as this cold front eventually tracks all the way down to the southeastern coast. So here's the forecast, Friday at noon p.m. Here's the cold front coming all the, th all the way through the Carolinas. Um, by 12 p.m. or by noon, most of the, most of the rain will be all the way back down towards the eastern coast, leaving most people around the Piedmont on the border, but with mostly just cloud cover. But this will be only part one of our system. Our big part comes around very early morning hours of Sunday. Here's that area of low pressure tracking just to the east of the Carolinas, bringing a very good chance of rain. All, um, you know, a very good chance of widespread rain all throughout the day. Um, the heaviest rain throughout the morning hours will be um, back down, back out towards the Piedmont on the border belt, with just scattered showers throughout the coast. But then, as this, as the system eventually tracks more to the east, then we will get a better shot of the of a. Uh, 
very heavy rain, especially as you go through, as, especially as you go through the afternoon hours on Sunday. So here is the forecast all throughout Friday. Temperatures basically all across the Pedon on the board, about topping out just in the high 50s. Um, a widespread chance of uh, showers all throughout the day, uh, with mostly cloudy. With uh, as, I just, as I just said, scattered showers all throughout the day. So as you advance into the weekend, Saturday night will be our best chance of rain into Sunday morning, but mostly all that rain will be gone as you head into uh, Sunday day. Um, a bit, uh, basically a big warm up going from um, a Saturday to Sunday. Not the best warm up, but still you know something you know to look out for. Um, Grand Strand topping out at, at 53 on Saturday and on Sunday topping out at 54. So not the biggest warm up, but definitely something that we have to keep an eye on. Now, how good are our rain chances? Um, you know, what time are we experiencing? What, what time will we will we will we be experiencing our greatest shot of rain? It looks like possibly in, in, in Saturday night into Monday morning we are best chance of rain, especially on widespread, especially right along the coast. So definitely anywhere between Saturday night and very early Sunday morning will be our best shot of rain. Um, how much how much rain are we talking throughout the PD on the border belt? Um, Myrtle Beach topping out at uh, 1.0 uh, on Model 1, um, just less than an inch on Model 2, and just less than just less than an inch on Model 3. Florence, South Carolina, possibly topping out to be an inch on basically on all models. And then Lumberton, North Carolina, a little bit more topping out just above an inch. So here's your 10-day forecast all throughout the Grand Strand. Um, Monday, uh, Friday will be our best chance of rain on um, the 70% chance of rain uh, breezy out there and then as you go throughout Saturday and Sunday that will be when part two comes through so bringing us uh, bring us up to uh, bring us up to an 80 percent chance of rain on um, Saturday night into Sunday morning and as you go throughout the whole rest of the week plenty of sunshine temperatures topping out in the low to mid 60s and then as you go back out towards the inland basically the, the exact same forecast plenty of sunshine throughout the whole entire rest of the week temperatures uh, topping out just to be in the mid 60s so that is all I have for you all in this part and the next part I will bring you all up today on how cold the temperatures just will get in the Midwest. All right, everyone, welcome to part three of my broadcast. In this part, I will be bringing you all up to date on how cold it is, how, how extremely cold it is going to get in the Midwest. And what's going to be happening is that we're going to have a big part of the polar vortex break off. And what that is, it's basically a jetstream pattern, but way, way, way up in the North Pole that holds extremely frigid temperatures, temperatures well below negative 50 degrees. And what will be happening is that a piece of that is going to break off and eventually track down south and affect us here and basically the whole entire northern U.S., okay? So Look at some of these temperatures that we're going to be experiencing, okay? Bismarck, North Dakota, possibly topping out at negative 4 on Sunday morning. Duluth, Minnesota, topping out at negative 8 on Sunday morning. I mean, look at some of these temperatures. Possibly not as cold in St. Louis and Chicago, but definitely a lot colder than what we have been experiencing. So here are the forecast lows. Uh, look at this. Neg the coldest we've seen so far in uh, Fargo, North Dakota is negative 9. We'll be at negative 18 on Monday. So very, very, very chilly. Another place we'll be experiencing very chilly temperatures. Um, uh, Omaha, Nebraska, the coldest we've seen is 3 degrees. We'll be at negative 3 on a Monday morning. Another place, Minneapolis, Minnesota, the coldest we've seen is negative 5. We'll be at negative 13 on Sunday, okay? Um, Chicago, Illinois, uh, the lowest we've been is uh, 8 degrees. We'll be at negative 6 on Sunday morning. And last but not least, Indianapolis, um, Indiana, our coldest we've seen is 10 degrees. We'll be, at, we'll be at 7 degrees on Sunday morning. Now, look at some of these temperatures. I want to really point out International Falls, okay? Look at that. Negative 24 degrees on Sunday. Negative 28 degrees on Monday and negative 20 degrees on Tuesday. That's three consecutive days with temperatures well below zero. Look at that. Minneapolis, Minnesota, negative 13 on Sunday, negative 12 on Monday, and negative 11 on Tuesday. Even for you in Chicago, Illinois, negative 6 on Sunday and zero degrees flat line on Monday and Tuesday. So extremely very cold temperatures reaching all the way down to the south. Nashville, Tennessee, look at that. Nashville, Tennessee, uh, 32 on Sunday, right at that freezing mark, just above the freezing mark on, thir on uh, Monday, topping out at 34 and, uh, and 38 on Tuesday. So very very, very cold temperatures extending all the way down to the south. So that is all I have you all tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a great rest of your weekend.